Buenas noches. Good evening. Buenas noches. Good evening. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. How are you today? Good? Good, bad, so so. How are you? Good? Bad? So so? Good. 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 Perfect, perfect. Solo estoy viendo que a un par se les olvidó poner su nombre completo. Como les ahorita indiqué. Ahí. No me dejó. Ahorita lo cambio, ahorita lo cambio. Perfect, please. ¿No la dejó? No, cuando me conecté. Eh, se conectó automáticamente. Sí. Pero si se, si se sale de la sesión y vuelve a entrar, sí le va a aparecer completo el nombre. Ah, o vaya. la opción para que pongan completo el nombre, sí. Ya con esa sesión completa, sí, ya le va a aparecer. Abel también, bueno, no sé, igual, Walter, si podrían hacer lo mismo. Necesitamos su nombre completo para el registro de Insafor. Igual Carla Guevara. Cuando usted abre la sesión con Zoom... Le va a pedir su nombre, su, su primer nombre, apellido, eh, tal como aparece en el TUI. Entonces, lo que hago, cierro y vuelvo a entrar. Sí, y le debe de aparecer, así como acaba de hacer Briseida. ¿Cómo lo hizo, Briseida? Este, en el lado superior derecho hay tres puntitos. Y dice René. O sea, sale un menú y dice René. Ok, very good. Rename significa cambiar su nombre. Very good. Hagámoslo desde ahí si se puede. Ok, vamos a empezar entonces. Carla, can you please ch change your name? Ok. Now we're going to start with today's class. Visitaron la plataforma. Sí. Cuenten, sí. Sí, me visitaron. Me visitaron. Travesearon sí. la plataforma. Very good. Está fácil de entender, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, sí un poco. Un poco. Un poco. Ok, very good. <ríe> ah, sí, no más, poquito. Ok. So I'm going to start with the class. Today, uh, let me show you here my computer all the time. I have nine people. So let's just start, that's enough. Okay, so we begin with uh, pretty much uh, class number two. Ahí estamos en National English for Work Program, beginner level, module one, and Unit one, get to know someone. I just talk about what I do in my workplace and to say my occupation. This is what we're doing, right? This is the competency that we need to practice. And today is video conferencia numero dos. Yes, questions and short answers. But we need to do some pending activities from yesterday, okay? So what do you remember from yesterday? What are the questions? For example, that I need to do or that I need to make if I want to say, if I want to ask for someone's name. What is the question that I do? That I have to, I'm sorry, that I have to make if I want to know one of your names. Yes. What's your name? What's your name? Very good. And uh, what's your middle name? What's your middle name? Very, very good. What's another question that you can make? What's, What's your last name? 
What's okay. your last name? Very good. What's your name? What's your middle name? What's your last name? Okay, very good. Now, can you listen to me? Someone is texting that they cannot listen. ¿Me pueden escuchar? Yes. Sí. Yo sí. Okay. Ah, pues, a quien no me escucha es internet. No es el mío. <laughs> so, let's continue. Here we're going to... Yo tengo un okay. problema con el audio ahorita. Creo que lo escuché entrecortada. Es que está lloviendo. Probablemente es... Ok. Very good. So let's continue here. And we, I'm go we're going to make some practice. I'm going to show you today some pictures. Ok. And you are going to tell me what is the meaning of that picture. Ok. Are you ready? Les voy a mostrar unas imágenes. Okay. Con base en esas imágenes, ustedes me van a decir el vocabulario que se recuerdan de cada una de las imágenes. Okay. That's what we're going to do. I will show you the pictures and you tell me. Te voy a preguntar a cada uno así a ver si se recuerdan. Si no se recuerdan, pues alguien se tiene que recordar. Eso es más que seguro. Okay. Now, I want you to see my computer. Let me take a look on this. Can you see my computer now? Yes. Okay. What is the word that I need to add if I have this picture? Mayonnaise. 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 Very good. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Very good. Mayonnaise. Let's continue. Mayonnaise. Perfect. Mayonnaise. What about this picture? Floor manager. Floor manager. Floor manager. Floor manager. Floor manager. Floor manager. Very Floor good. Manager. Floor manager. What about this? Oh, this one I forgot Supervisor. to name it. Supervisor. Supervisor. Very good. Supervisor. Supervisor. What about the next one? Truck driver. Truck driver. Truck driver. Truck driver. Truck driver. Very good. And driver. the last one? Engineer. 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 Very good. Very good. Engineer. That is the vocabulary that we have from yesterday. And the last one? Secretary. 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 Very good. Secretary. Very good. So that is the vocabulary that we practice. <clears throat> Right, and we practice some other words as well, right, for this vocabulary. Now, mm -hmm. I am going to show you here, give me one moment. I am going to show you this. We're going to do, uh, I am going to, eh, una cosita. Si alguna, ustedes me escriben, si me están escribiendo en WhatsApp cuando ya estamos empezando la clase, Eh, como estoy en la clase, no contesto el teléfono, solo digo que está eh, cayendo los mensajes, ¿verdad? Porque me desplacé. Entonces, eh, por si acaso, no crean que no les quiero contestar, sino que tengo el teléfono por otro lado. No. Okay. I, we're going to start with the first grammar practice. Now, first, I need you to listen to the grammar practice, and then we are going to practice, okay? Now, this grammar practice is going to be very easy. We're going to go step by step, and we're going to do a lot of practice today, okay? So let's start. I am going to share with you my computer. Now, can you see here? It says here, how to use B in singular statements, right? That is what we're going to do. Very, very easy. How to use verb B in singular statements. Can you see it? Can you see? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, very yes. good. Yes. Very good. Now, look at this. We're using B with affirmative statements and negative statements. That's what we need to do. Now, I am going to start with affirmative statements. I, I am going to start with affirmative statements and I need you to look at this. I'm going to give you the formula that we use 
to create affirmative statements. Affirmative is positive. Negative statements are well, negative. They are bad, right? So I am going to start with this. It, with the use of verb B, we have the subject plus the verb B, right? And then we look at it, it's subject plus verb B plus the complement. El sujeto, el verbo, y el complemento, right? Subject plus verb B plus complement. And we have the period at the end. This is going to be affirmative sentences, right? Or affirmative statements. Affirmative statements. Subject plus verb B plus complement. That is the formula, okay? <clears throat> Remember this. We're gonna have two colors. Another color. And well, the complement here. Now, look at this example that we're going to make. In, in the verb, in the verb B, with singular statements, the singulars that we are going to use are going to be I, the verb B, I am, and the complement, a teacher, right? I am a teacher. That is going to be the sentence. Look, it has the same element, subject, verb B, and complement. Is that clear? Entendemos hasta este momento? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Very good. Now, that is one subject. I have other type of subjects. I have another subject that is you. Right? And then I will say you are students. You are students, right? You right, are students. But when I say you, I'm talking about just one person. I can say you, Rosalena, right, are a student, right? Just one person. This is singular. Singular means one. Okay? Cuando decimos singular es uno. Cuando decimos plural or plural, it's more than one. Right? Now, we have another example. Look at this. Singular statements. That's what we're doing. El verbo to be from a singular statements. I have another type of subject that is singular and is going to be she. She is for girls only. For example, I can use she for Briseida, for Carla, for Mariela, for Eliani, Carla Diazet, Roselena, Wendy Arita, Wendy Joanna, those are she, right? This is for women, right? And here the verb be is, is. She is, let's say, she is an engineer, right? She is an engineer. Then we have subject plus verb plus complement, right? Now, for boys, uh, for example, for boys, for uh, Abel, for Walter, for René, for Fausto, Peter, I am not going to use she. I am going to use he. 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 Very good. And the verb B is going to be the same. He is, he is a floor manager, for example. He is a floor manager, right? Do we understand oh, this? Okay. Entendemos hasta aquí? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay, yes. very yes. good, yes. very yes. good. Now, if we look at the table that he, they are giving us, we have the same information. Look at this, affirmative statements. I am Natalie. You are a secretary. 
He is an engineer. She is a floor manager. Right? Fíjense acá. Am, are, is, and is. Okay? Very good. Now, this, I need you to remember. They are together. Right? They are together. When we say, for example, I... I, you are going mm -hmm. to use am. Um. Um. Eso va siempre junto. I am. I am. Then you are. You are. You are. You are. She is. She is. He is. And he is. He is. He is. He is. Okay, very good. Also, this is for people. When you we have I, you, she, he, that is for people. But yes, also. We use this exactly for persons. We also use it for things or for animals, right? Like for a cat, for example, for a dog, for a puppy. It is a beautiful dog. It is a beautiful dog, right? Do you know what a dog is? A beautiful dog. Very good. Un perro hermoso. Okay, very good. So we can use it for things or for animals. Right? And this is what we have for affirmative statements. Right? But they, ha they have to be singular statements. Right? Now, when we have subject plus verb B plus complement in affirmative form. Right? Ahora, look at this. Look at the other part here. Look at what it says. I am Natalie. I'm Natalie. This is, this is the long form. Is the complete form. And <coughs> I'm Natalie is the short form. Short I'm Natalie. I am Natalie is the complete form, right? Now, how are we going to do this? It's going to be very simple. Look at this. Look at what I'm going to do. It's going to be very, very simple. We are going to have here the same sentences. Pueden verlas? Yes? Yes. We have verb B. Is the formula is the same. But now we are going to use affirmative contracted form. Contracted form. Siempre es afirmativo, right? But now it's short. It's contracted. As it says, it's contracted form. Now, I'm going to show you here. Give me one moment. Okay, very good. Now, here, the verb B, what I'm going to do is that we're going to connect. We're going to connect the subject and the verb be to make this. I'm a teacher. Look at this. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Exactly. I'm a teacher. So the pronunciation I'm changes because before we say I am a teacher. Now we say I'm a teacher. Right? Yeah. Very good. I'm a teacher. Very good. Now, look what we have here. You are. You are. You are. And I am going to make it contracted. I'm going to do this. You are a, oh sorry, you are a student. Just one, it's singular. You are a student. A student. Walter, you are a student. You are a student. Very good. Now we have this. We're going to do the same for this. Right? And we have this. She's an engineer. She's, she's, she's an, an engineer. engineer. Exactly. He's a floor manager. He's a floor manager. It's a beautiful dog. It's a beautiful dog. Okay, He's very a beautiful good. Dog. Okay, He's very good. A beautiful dog. All of these are affirmative contracted forms. 
Remember that affirmative contracted forms. Is this part clear? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Do you have a question? Eh, sí, el no. último eh, sujeto, este, teacher, ¿Mm? el, es para animales y para, ¿qué más nos dijo? Animals, okay. things. Uh -huh. Cosas. Yes, things and animals. Okay. Very good. Cosas y animales. Yes, and sometimes okay. for babies. We say, oh, it's a baby. Ah, it's a, baby. Baby. it's a baby. También se utiliza cuando decimos it's eso. A it's a baby. baby. Okay, very good. Okay. Now, this is the first part of repeating. <coughs> Do you have a question? No. Explicamos de nuevo. Any questions? No. Okay, you don't have a question. Okay, let's see. Now. What are the things that we are going to add with the verb be? With the verb be, we can add, for example, occupations, right? Uh, Wendy is a supervisor, right? Or we can say, Rene is a, Rene is a doctor. Okay. Right? So we can, we can use the verb be, with occupations, right? Mm -hmm. With jobs. Or we can use the verb be when we are with, with adjectives. For example, we can say, Mariela is angry. Right? Mm -hmm. Or we can say, Peter is happy. Right? Mm -hmm. That's with emotions too. Wendy is confused. Right? So we can use it also with, I'm going to put it here on the PowerPoint so you can see it. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes? Can you see it? Can you see? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So you can use the verb B. Right? What is the formula of the verb B again? I don't remember what is the formula. I, I'm R I do, is, uh, uh -huh. and how do you I go I? It is you, subject. She, he. No. I subject. I do, she, he, he. It. Okay, those are do, she, those are the subjects. It, but what is subject. what listen, what is verb. the formula of the verb be? Subject. Subject, subject, subject. Verb. 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 Complement. Complement. Plus complement. Plus complement. Very good. So we're going to have subject and this complement, in este complemento, pueden utilizar ustedes, right? Complement, it can be occupations, emotions, <coughs> adjectives, right? or locations, for example, right? I am, I am in my house, you see? I am in my house. You I are, am in my house. Yeah, you you are, are in your house. <laughs> you are in your house. You are in your house, exactly, very good. So we're going to use the verb be and the complements, they can be different, right? These are the options that we have for complements. Estas son como las opciones de lo que podemos utilizar. Los subjects ya me lo dijeron. I, you, he, 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 these are subject pronouns, okay? Subject pronouns, and it's singular, singular subject pronouns. Singular subject pronouns are I, you, he, she, and it, okay? Very good. 
Esos son los sujetos. Uh, sí. Me va a decir, Silvia, ¿en can you sí. change the subjects, the subject pronouns for a name? Yes, you can. For ex you can. For example, say, he, he is a truck driver. Fausto is a truck driver. Right? Okay. Ah, it's the same. Right? Look at this. A veces van a verlos cambiados. Ya no van a encontrar como los uh, subject pronouns, sino que van a ver cambiados con unos nombres. Por ejemplo, he is a truck driver. He is a truck driver. Ah, va. Es un conductor de camión. Yeah. Who is he? ¿Quién, quién es él? Who is he? We are going to say Fausto. For example, Fausto is a truck driver. Right. Do you see? He is the same as Fausto. Right? And then I can say, for example, here, right, Eliani, Eliani is a famous dancer. Oh, very good. Eliani is a famous dancer. What is the subject pronoun that changes for Eliani? Eliani. She. 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 Very good. She is a famous, famous dancer. Dancer. Famous dancer. Famous. She is a famous dancer like Shakira. Okay, very good. Right? Eliani is a famous dancer. She is a famous dancer. Okay, very good. Do we understand this part? Is it clear? Yes. 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 Alguna pregunta? No. No? No. no. Okay. No. Now, this is what we're doing. Yes? Go ahead. Pregunten. Teacher, solo este, un comentario. Este, por si se, me salgo de, de la conferencia aquí del Zoom, es porque acá donde estoy yo están habiendo bastantes apagones. Y ahí oh. se me internet, solo por cualquier dato. Ok. Ok. okay. Y si no, pero yeah. se puede también, si tiene chance de conectarse por el teléfono. Se puede conectar también. Ok. Very good. No. Eh, si está lloviendo, entonces eso no lo podemos evitar, ni modo. Si llueve. Sí. Pero eh, una cosa. Ahorita sí. que me está hablando de eso, para todos. Si en dado caso ustedes tuvieran que faltar o algo. Eh, acá es, no es como que, mire, teacher, le voy a pedir permiso para faltar. No. Tienen que informar a las personas, a los administradores. ¿Cuál es la razón de peso legal? No, pero les tienen que decir por qué no, no pueden estar en una conferencia, porque como les decía ayer, es, es la beca de Insafor, entonces ellos nos piden, como quien dice, cuentas cabales, la amistad es larga. Entonces tienen que informarle a los administradores y por decir algo, si Madali no, no está en la clase hoy, no vino y nada, no informó nada, eh, mañana le van a estar hablando de inglés corporativo, preguntándole qué le pasó y toda la cosa. Va a haber un seguimiento. Entonces, por si acaso se llega a... ¿Ok? Eh, pero sí, okay. por si acaso se desconecta totalmente, Eric, eh, escríbalo en el chat del WhatsApp porque se desconectó. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo no? Perfecto. Ok, perfecto. Okay. Después del comercial, eh, yo no les he pasado lista. Continue. Para que se les refresque su, su, su mente ahorita con las preguntas, ya les van a surgir, ya van a ver. En lo que les surgen las preguntas, voy a tomarles lista. Permítanme un segundo. Let's see here. English. Ahí. Uh, Susana Guadalupe Acosta de Cruz. Presente. Ok, very good. Let me see. Do you all have your cameras on? Yes. Pongan sus camaritas, sí. Bien bonitos. Perfect. Ok. Eh, Wendy Joana Ruiz González. Presente. René Alonso Madrid Escalantes. Presente. Jennifer Madali Hernández Mergiva. Presente. Eric Macario Pérez Ramírez. Presente. 
Liseida Mabel Avilés Celaya. Presente. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde López. Presente. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Entonces, okay. Wendy Yesenia Arita González. Presente. Edwin Antonio García Hernández. Presente. Rosalena Figueroa Hernández. Presente. Jessica Joana Guardado de Medrano. Presente. Alexander de Jesús Palma Maya. Alexander de Jesús Palma Maya. Pedro Ernesto Quijada Celaya. Presente. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Presente. Carla Adiacet Colocho de Parada. Presente. Abel Edgardo Martínez Hernández. Presente. Elea Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Presente. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Presente. Ok, perfecto. So we just have two people that are now here. Ok, seguimos. Do you have a question about the verb be in singular statements? Mariela de Los Ángeles, le pasé el este, Mariela. Ok. Do you have a question about the verb be? No? No. 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 Piece of cake? Okay. No. Okay. Yes. Okay, chico. Yeah. I see. Okay, chico. Let's see here. Then I'm going to share with you. This is for singular statements in affirmative form. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the negative form. Okay. And for the negative form, let me show you my computer. Can you see my computer? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 So what are we going to do for the affirmative statement, Sylvia? Well, very easy. The only thing that we're going to do here oops, is that we are going to change. Look at this. First, we're going to put here negative, negative statements. Always singular. Singular mm. statements in negative. Now, what am I going to do here in the in the formula? We have subject plus verb B plus not plus complement. That is it. That is the negative form. Very easy. Subject plus verb B plus not plus complement. So what do you think is the negative form of the first sentence? The first sentence, I want to make it negative. I am a teacher. Based on the formula, what should be the negative form? Miss Arita, Wendy Arita, what do you think is the negative form? ¿Cuál cree usted que sería la forma negativa? Equivoquémonos todos, Tobias. No. I am not. I am not. I am not. Very good. I am not. A is it? I am not a teacher. I am not a teacher. Yes. What about the next sentence? You are, them? Not you are not. You are not a student. Very good. You are not a student. You are a vago. Okay. She is. If I want to make it negative, she is not. not an engineer. She's not an engineer. She's not an engineer. She is a supervisor. Right? He is not. He is not a floor manager. He is not a floor manager. Very good. And the last one. Is it is not, not, a beautiful dog. It is not a beautiful dog. It is not a beautiful dog. It's not a beautiful dog. It's ugly. Very it's good. It is not it a beautiful dog. Very good. It is not a beautiful dog. It is not a beautiful dog. 
Very good. Now, this is going to be pretty much the negative form, right, of the verb be. Very easy, right? Very easy. The only thing that we have to do is to add the word not so we can make our sentence. Now, this one is, remember, this is the long form, the complete form. Now I want to make it short. I want to make it contracted, right? So, negative contracted form. If I want to make the negative contracted form, what I'm going to do, right, is the following. With I am, and I need you to pay attention to this, pay attention. And if you can, let me see here. Okay, very good. Now, I need you to pay attention right now because this one is a little bit different, okay? Now, with, for example, with I am not a teacher, I want to make it short, and what I'm going to do is the following. Look at this. I am going to connect, right? The subject and the verb be, right? And I'm going to leave it like this. I'm not. This is the contracted form. I am. Okay. Uh, okay. And the pronunciation changes as well. It's I'm not. I'm, I'm not. not a teacher. Very good. Look at the others. I have here, right? I'm not a teacher. Very good. What we're going to do here is that we are going to connect, right? We are going to connect here. You, you're not a student, right? You're not a student. Then we are going to do the same with the others. And look at this. We use, this is, this is an apostrophe. We use the apostrophe to make the connection, right? She's not an engineer. She's not, she's not an engineer. He's not a floor manager. It's not a beautiful dog, right? And this is one form. Esta es una forma que ustedes van a ver en los libros de forma contractada, right? En forma negativa. But in the form negative, we have two ways. We have two different forms. Tenemos dos formas distintas. Esta es una. Okay? Y esta es la forma que nos pone acá el libro. Look at this. I'm not Natalie. I'm not Natalie. I'm Sylvia. Right? You are not a secretary. You are an engineer. He's not an engineer. She's not a floor manager. That is one form of saying the negative statements. Okay? Estamos bien ahí. Do you have questions? No. Any questions? Okay. No. Recuérdense, no. esta es una forma de hacer la forma contractada negativa. Okay? Esta es una forma. Les voy a enseñar la otra fórmula. Okay? Siempre negativo. Y tienen el mismo significado. ¿Ok? Tienen el mismo significado. El significado no cambia. Siempre es negativo. Pero ahora vamos a verlo acá. El I'm not, ese siempre, ese siempre su fórmula es la única que existe. I'm not a teacher. Ahí estamos bien. But in this one, look at this. What was the previous formula? It was you're not, right? You're not. Here, we're going to change it and we are going to connect the verb be and the word not, right? And we are going to do this. Look at this. Miren donde ve la apostrofe. Look at this. You aren't a student. Look at this. This is another example of negative form. Este es otro ejemplo, otra forma de hacer inglés. Okay? Otra forma del idioma inglés para decir la forma negativa. Okay? You aren't a student. Teacher significa distinto. No, it's the same. Es lo mismo. It's the same thing. Right? 
you aren't a student. What about this? We do the same thing. We are going to connect it. We delete the letter O. Eliminamos la O. Ponemos un apostrofe. She isn't an engineer. What about he is not? What do we do? We delete the O and we say he isn't, he isn't a floor manager. Very good. And the next one is it isn't a beautiful dog. Okay. So remember with negative forms, complete form, contracted, contracted. Is this clear? Estamos bien aquí? Do you have any questions? Tienen yes. alguna pregunta? Yes? Go ahead, no. Susan. No, no. No questions. No. No. no questions. no. Okay, very good. Now, well, what are we going to do first? Right? What we're going to do first, we're going to start with one small exercise. In the exercise, first, donde está ya lo perdí. Look what we're going to do. You are going to write your own examples. Okay? Estos son mis ejemplos, no me los copien. Estos son míos. Háganlo de usted. Now, you're going to write your own examples, right? But I need you to copy the formula so you can remember. Okay? Can you please take a screenshot of the formulas? I will give you one minute. Take a screenshot of this. Tomen una, una captura de pantalla. Okay. Ya, yeah? are you ready? Sí. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's take ready. another one. Okay. Let's take another one. Let's take negative statements. Next, negative statements, contracted form. And the last one, contracted. Okay. Contracted. So what are you going to do? Right now, you are going to work in groups, okay? You are going to write a similar chart. Va a ser un cuadro similar. You're going to write a similar chart using this. Va a ser algo similar ya con la fórmula que tiene. But you are going to write your own examples. You are going to work in groups of three. Right? Remember, you're going to make affirmative statements and negative statements. Right? You're going to make affirmative complete form and affirmative short form. Negative complete form and negative short form. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to work in groups of, I think we can work in groups of three. Let me, yeah, we're going to work in groups of three and you will have five minutes to start working, okay? To complete the sentences. Pueden tener las mismas oraciones, no importa, right? But I need you to work in groups, okay? So you can share the information. Let's start. Let's start. Choose your groups. Choose your groups. Select, 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 select the button of your groups. Please, select. Very good, select.
Roselena, please go to class. Roselena. Tres. Bien. ¿Verdad? Ocupando mm -hmm. las dos formas. Eh, afirmativa. En las dos formas. En la afirmativa con complemento. Y con la. Quiero ver. Con la contra, y con la forma de contractada. El negativo. Eh, normal y con la forma contractada. Yeah. Bien. No sé si. Eh, cómo hacemos el ejemplo. Si lo escribimos primero. O alguien quiere pronunciar. O, o mencionarlo primero. Y no tienen que ser los mismos ejemplos que puso ella. Exacto. Exacto. Ok. Este, si quieren empiezo con, eh, con la forma afirmativa. Ah. Sería, eh, bueno, si en la forma, en la forma primera, en la forma normal, sería, eh, yo soy eh, entrenador, I am coach. Forma afirmativa. I am coach. Eh, esa creo que podría ser un ejemplo de ahí en vez de students eh, podría ser you are eh, no sé no. Mm, quiero ver you are you are intelligent for example ah, ah ese. <laughs> you are intelligent <laughs> ajá y aquí tendría que ser una de ustedes, Jessica Briseida, que es de afirmativa, pero en ella. No sé, she is eh, su al, eh, she secretary, is, podría ser. She is a nurse. Nurse. Nurse es, ¿qué es nurse? Enfermera. Ah, enfermera. Ah, va. Ajá. No les oigo. ¿Ah? Eh, no les escucho. Sí, eh, no. Briseida. Es, les eh, escucho súper cortado. Es de internet. Es de ah. internet connection. Uh -huh. eh, Briseida, she is nurse. Vale. Ella es de enfermera. Uh -huh. mm, creo que uh -huh. hay que anteponer la, la palabra. Eh, ah. a, a nurse. She is a nurse. A nurse. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. A nurse. Si quieren, vamos escribiendo la de un solo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, una consulta, Silvia. Yes. En el primero es, bueno, aquí dice que es algo afirmativo. I am teacher, como es algo afirmativo. I am a teacher. Uh -huh. I am a teacher. En este caso también podría ser como mi nombre. I am René. No. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I am René. Ah, ok. Ah, pues ese va a ser el primero. I am René. <risa> de que galán. I am René. Ok, very sí, good. Es que estoy viendo que después puedo poner como mi... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ahí ya... René. Ma. Eh, do... eh, como dijo Silvia, you are... Eh, intelligent. Ok. You are intelligent. We say that you're intelligent. Intelligent. Por mm -hmm. ejemplo. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to go to another group. I see you in a moment. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Ajá. Correcto. Yeah, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Supervisor. I'm a teacher. You are You're a supervisor. You're a supervisor. She is a She's a She's a secretary. She's a She's a big cat.
En las negativas. En las negativas. Negativa. Estaríamos siempre en el mismo bueno, complemento. Pues, Uh, sí, sí, ocupemos el mismo complemento. Ok. Vaya, you can. Yeah. It's okay. Good. Thank you. And no. Sí, sería así, uh, en la forma completa. Completa. Eh, y podemos poner you. Y hacerlo tanto. Ajá. Y hacerlo tanto de la forma de yo le digo, I am Peter. Yo am Peter. Yo am Peter. Yo am Peter. Yo ¿Cuál es la segunda? What is the second one? ¿De la segunda afirmativa o negativa? Uh -huh. Good question. Oh, por eso. Es you are a not a student. Ah, pues podríamos poner you are not a pilot and you aren't. You aren't to you aren't. Not a student. No, el not ya no sería porque ahí lo estás contactando con el are, aren't. El uh -huh. not. Entonces, you aren't. Mm, sí. You aren't a student. A student. Very good, Carla. Carla Adiasat. Very good, Mariela. Very good. No se me entendió al final. Teacher. Yes. Y aquí sería you are. Ya no digo not. Ya no dice not. Como, le, ajá, como estaba yeah. mencionando, eh, ASET ya no dice not. Como ya tiene aren't, ya está la you forma aren't. contractada. You aren't, you aren't uh, student, astronaut. Ajá, you aren't a student. You aren't an astronaut, por ejemplo. Right? Teacher, ¿Mm? yo tenía otra duda. Tell me que estaba viendo que, que en algunas se pone his a floor manager y en otras es chief an. Entonces, ¿qué es la diferencia del an con el a? Buena pregunta. The difference is the pronunciation. Ok. Hay palabras, le voy a mostrar acá. Un will use a or an. Can you see my computer? Ah, uh, or N. When we use both of them, right, we are going to use here the word A uh, or N, and this word has to be with the pronunciation of a consonant. Vamos a utilizar A, aquí A, cuando esta palabra de aquí al siguiente empiece con el sonido o la pronunciación de una consonante. For example, she is a or a secretary. Esta, esta pronunciación es la pronunciación de una consonante. Secretary. She's a secretary. Y aquí, an. Y la pronunciación que va a seguir aquí de la primera de la palabra tiene que ser una vocal or a vowel sound. It's going to be a vowel sound. For example, an engineer. Okay. ¿Y por qué? Porque no puedo decir He is an engineer It sounds different It sounds puede, difficult No puede ir vowel con vowel Exactly así. You cannot have vowel with vowel Because it's difficult to pronounce He is an engineer It sounds difficult ¿Mm? Eso es todo ah, es que, Sí, es que eso tenía duda Yo, O sea, me quedé pensando O sea si va con A y en A, entonces no entendía, pero ahí sí. Ok, very good. That's a great question. Thank you. 
Okay, very good. Yes, yeah, thank you. Very good. More questions? Teacher, en la, en la primera, en las, en la positiva, en las positivas, es mm -hmm. I am a beautiful. I am a beautiful person. A beautiful person. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Or I am beautiful. Y, I am pretty. Mm -hmm. I am, quiero, y en la, en la corta, I am, ya no sería, ya no diría I am. No, ya diría am. 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 Y siempre beautiful. I. Yes. O ya am. no sería el, Sí. Ya la pronunciación acá, la que usted va a decir, por ejemplo, aquí, la pronunciación Ok. Now, the pronunciation here, if you have. Moment. If I have, uh, I am, and then I want to make it I contracted, I have am, um. am, um. that is um. everything, I am, um. am, um. I am it Sylvia, I am Sylvia. Ya no sería el complemento agregarle la, en la segunda, como no, verdad? ¿Qué le quiere agregar? Digamos, I am, am uh, very happy. I am very happy. That's it. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. That's it. Ya no sería a very happy, ¿verdad? Como en la otra que no. decía, mm -hmm. I am a very happy. No, porque aquí está ya todo. Ahí está. Uh, mm -hmm. Ahí están las dos palabras. Pero ya no necesita pronunciar las dos palabras, solamente las pronuncia juntas, porque ya como se unieron, ya es una sola palabra. Ok. Ok, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. I will go to another group, and in one minute, we're going to go with the others, ok? Ok. Sí, sí no. usted sabe. Hello, teacher. Did you finish? Hello. Good. Estamos en las negativas. Hello. Ah, ok, ok. Very good. Do you have questions? Eh, no. 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 No sé usted, Jenny, no. pero Wendy. No questions. Hay algunas que sí, no. Sí, Tell me. me están costando. Ah, ok. No more. <risa> Vaya, y de ahí... Y ahí tenemos las... Le damos otra ah, vez a la positiva. Uh -huh. Vaya, empieza usted, bueno. Y eso lo tenemos que anotar. Yes. As an example. Sí, sí. sí. <risa> ah, que nadie los anota. <risa> sí, que no, no. Yo no los estoy anotando. Sí, ah, okay. secretaria. Ok. <risa> secretaria. Y ni la secretaria, yes. Vamos. Con los positivos otra vez. Sí, le damos con los positivos. Empieza. Empieza usted, Wendy. Y empezamos con eh, I am. ingeniero, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Dele, Wendy. I am y ah. Sí, es un poquito más complicado, pero. Y ni practicamos ah. nada. <risa> Ey, ¿cómo no? Ya les dije. Ey. Vale, sí. con la lectura que tenés, lo que tenés que practicar son los, las afirmaciones y negaciones. I am not, I am, ¿qué? I am, I am Wendy, not, I am not. not eh, prácticamente eso are, es todo lo que vamos a practicar. Not, Yo, she, no. Did you finish? Did you finish? Sí. Yeah. Yes. Nice. What are your examples? I want to listen to your examples. ¿Cuáles son sus ejemplos? El mío. I am uh -huh. Eric. I am Eric, you are, ok. 
you are an assistant administrative. You are an administrative assistant. Ah, it's al revés. Uh, yes. Administrative, administrative assistant. Assistant. Administrative assistant. 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 Uh, he is a driver. He is a driver. She is a floor manager. He is, she is a floor manager. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? It is a beautiful table. It is a beautiful table. Okay, very okay. good. Nice, okay. nice. Did you do the negative forms? I am not. Um, Yes, Maria. Yeah. I am not party. I am not party. I am not party. You are not floor manager. You're not floor manager. He is not a truck driver. He is not a truck driver. She is a, no. She is not an engineer. Mm -hmm. She is not an engineer. Okay, very good. Just in the first okay. one, how do you how do you spell party? Come here, party. Digame. Party, um, like this. B -A -R -T -Y. No. No, solo party. una T, creo yo. Party, party. Ah, party. Like party. Party. Nombre. Party. Ah, party. Okay. Como Patricia. Ah, okay. Party. I'm not party. Okay. Pensé okay. que me decía party como yes. fiesta. Y él dice, I am not uh -huh. no. a party person. Teacher, este, <laughs> no. teacher, este doble party, T es un nombre y solo una T es fiesta. No, no es mire, part, mire. party. Uh -huh. Con... Porque, ah. uh, porque dijo party y ya pensé party así como P-A-R-T-Y, P party. It's a party when you go and dance, you drink beers, you drink <laughs> many things, yeah. right? That is a party. Entonces yo le voy a decir, ah, I am not a party person. Como que, ah, no me gusta la fiesta. Mm -hmm. I am not a party I'm person, missing. por decir algo. Pero ella me está diciendo que she is not I am party. not a party person. Mm -hmm. Pero ella quiere decir que ella no es Patricia, ¿verdad? I'm not uh -huh. party. Mm -hmm. I'm not party. Okay. I'm not party. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Recuérdense que los nombres okay. no los cambiamos en inglés. A veces cambia un poquito la pronunciación, pero en inglés, Fulgencio es Fulgencio, y así se va. Los right? apellidos usualmente tampoco cambian, ¿verdad? Porque Nada Pérez, cambia. López, eh, Ramos. Ajá, yo veo el de las noticias, Sergio Ramos, lo mencionan Sergio Ramos, el de exactly. CNN, incluso en inglés o en español. Y Jennifer López también. Sergio Ramos. Jennifer López, ah. exacto. Everything is the same, ya. Yeah. Una chocolatina Ajá, este... aquí es una chocolatina allá porque son nombres propios. O sea, okay. se menciona igual. Yes, it's the same. Pero Patty, ah. sí, así le dicen. Patty, Patricia. Hi, my name is Patty. Very good. <risa> Entonces, okay. este, eh, teacher, este, para ejemplo, así Patricia, es mejor decir siempre Patricia, no abreviarlo para no equivocarse en la pronunciación. Un ejemplo así como nosotros que empezamos. Para decir en inglés el Patricia. Yeah, you can say Patricia. Decir, Patricia, okay. Patricia, Patricia. Ah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, okay. let's, let's go with the others and let's share the examples, okay? Very good. Hey, okay. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Yo estoy programado para hoy a las 10.40, como para un refuerzo. Mm -hmm. En algún caso, yo tengo que esperar hasta esta hora para pedir refuerzo, si este, lo necesitara al final. No. Sí, a las bueno. 10.40. <ríe> ya le puedo explicar de eso ahorita antes que se me olvide, ya que me mencionó. Sí, Very ya good. son las nueve para que nos pase la lista. Otra, otra vez, vez. se <ríe> acaba. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, vamos, vamos, let's go. Ok, ok, yes. Okay, very good. Did you finish your examples? Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, very yes. good. So I need you. Your yes. 
I need you to tell me one example. Yes, yes. I will say your name and you are going to tell me the example that you want. Si quieren hacer un ejemplo negativo o positivo, you tell me, okay? Okay. Yo solo digo su nombre y ustedes me dicen su ejemplo. Los demás escuchamos pronunciation and let's listen if the sentence is correct. Vamos a escuchar si la oración está bien. Okay. okay. Uh, we're going to start with Wendy Arita. Todos están en mute ahorita. ¿Cuál es? Quítale el, el mute al micrófono. No se escucha. Perdón. I am Yesenia. You are um, admin, administrative. No sé cómo se llama. Administrative. Administrative. Okay, very good, very good. Now let's listen to René Alonso. Eh, eh, las afirmativas. You decide, usted decide. Ustedes, ustedes van a ah. decidir ahorita cuál ejemplo me van a dar. You decide. Okay. Eh, I am not René. You are not intelligent. She is okay. not... A nurse, he is not a mechanic. Mechanic. He is not, uh -huh. he is not a big house. It is not a big house. Very good, very good. Mechanic. 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 Okay. Mechanic. Very good. Mechanic. mechanic. Susana, let's listen. One example, remember, one example. Okay. I am Susana. Uh, you are very happy. Yes, I am. Yes. Okay, very good. <laughs> Let's listen to Eric Macario. Eric, está en mute. Todos están en mute ahorita. No se les escucha el micrófono. Eric. Hola. What's Hola. your example? Okay. I am Eric. You are a doctor. He is a driver. Okay. He is a full manager. It is a beautiful telephone. Okay. Very good. Just give me one okay. example. Okay. Very good. Solo okay. uno. Solo uno. Carla Marielos. Carla. Mírele. Bueno, ya está. Carla Marielos, está en mute. Recuérdense que tienen el micrófono apagado. I am friendly. I very happy. I am friendly. Ok, very good. Very good, Carla Marielos. Eliani. She is not a secretary. She is not a secretary. Very good. Wendy Joanna. I am I am is engineer. You okay. are listen to that. It will say I am is. Is that correct? Mm -mm. No. Okay, no. Okay, no. very good. So what is the answer? Solo uno, dígame, una oración. Ok. You are an engineer. You are an engineer. Very good, engineer. very good. You're an engineer. Very good. Walter Mauricio, let's go with you. Walter. Ok, Mariela de Los Ángeles. Tell me your it example. Is, it is. He is beautiful cat. He is? Beautiful cat. Beautiful, beautiful cat. Ah, okay. Very beautiful good. Car. He, it is a beautiful car. Okay. It is a beautiful car. Very good. Briseida. Mm. You are an intelligent. She is an honor. He is a mechanic. 
this isn't a big house. It isn't a big house. Okay, very good. Uh, Mariela. It's a beautiful flowers. Okay. It is a beautiful flower because it's one. Remember, only singular is one. Singular is el sinónimo de uno. It is a beautiful flower. Okay. It is a beautiful. I'm gonna put it here. It is a beautiful flower. Uh, Jessica, guardado. Okay, now ready? Roselena. I'm uh, ready. I am me. not. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Jessica. She is a not nurse. She is not a nurse. She is. She is not a nurse. A nurse. Very good. She is not a nurse. Very good. Rosalena. I am not a teacher. Why? Okay. Very good. I am not a teacher. Very good. Uh, let's see, Madali. Or oh, Madali. I don't know. Madali. Madali. Sí, Madali. Okay. Uh, you are a customer service. Um, no, uh, I am not a customer. A customer service. Okay, but in this case, Madali, we need to have more information. Vamos a ponerle más información. You are a customer service. What agent? Agente. Right. You are a customer service agent or you are not a customer service agent. Le estoy poniendo una de las oraciones en el chat para que la vayan viendo, como de vocabulario nuevo sí. y la vayan anotando, ¿ok? Y a diez, a Carla Díaz Set. What is your example? You aren't a student. You aren't a student. Okay, very good. You aren't a student. Pero ese es mi ejemplo, ¿y el suyo? Ah, you aren't a, you aren't a pilot. Ah, yeah, I'm not a pilot. Very good. You aren't a pilot. Very good. Ah, pensó rápido. You aren't a pilot. Very good. Edwin, you're the last one. You are a smart girl. You aren't a smart? A smart girl. Mm, how do you spell that? Can you write it on the chat? No les smart girl. A smart daughter. Girl. Smarter. Ah, a smart girl. Yes, I am a smart girl. <laughs> okay, very good. A smart girl. Very good. A smart girl. Girl. Very good. And he's the last one. Les pregunté a todos. See? No, Peter. Yes. Peter, yeah. you're missing. And Abel, you're missing too. Fausto, you're missing too, right? Okay. Peter, what's your example? It is a not a beautiful cat. It is not a beautiful pet. Very good. It is not a beautiful pet. Fausto? It is a big cat. It is a big cat. Okay, very good. Abel? A ver, Abel. It's not the cat. Okay, very good. Very good. Now we have these examples. Do you feel ready for the next exercise? Yes. Okay, now let's continue here. I'm gonna show you another exercise. This is what we're going to do right now. It's not, not, not this, this exercise. Look at the exercise here. This is conversation with the verb B. What are we going to do? We are going to practice here, let me put all the information. 
We have David, Jennifer, and Sarah. Right? David, Jennifer, and Sarah. This is a conversation, right? So we are going to complete with the verbs. Let me see here. With the verbs that we have between parentheses. Between parentheses. So it says, how are you? I, I chose the, the option are. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Right? Now, what do you think is the answer that I should select for this? She's or um? Um. 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 Oh, okay. Um. I'm fine. Thanks. I'm fine. Thanks. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. Thanks. Fine. Very good. Fine. Very good. Now, what do you think is next? It says, sorry. What's sorry. your name again? What is What's I'm sorry or again? it's sorry? Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's your name again? Very good. Now, what you have to do right now is that you're going to take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Una captura. Take a screenshot. Okay. Okay. And we're going to work in groups. We're going to work with three people. Okay. So you can practice the conversation. First, okay. you complete the conversation. Here, 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 and here. And then you are going to practice the pronunciation, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Okay. Now, mira, no me puedo la pronunciación de todas las palabras. No se preocupe. Okay? We're going to try to see if we can understand the pronunciation. Okay, vamos a tratar de practicar con lo que sabemos. Vamos a, a, a ver. Vamos a trabajar en, siempre en los mismos grupos de tres. No, vamos a trabajar con otras personas mejor. Ok, there we are. And we're going to complete the conversation. Are you ready? Yes? yes. No? Yes. Ok, very yes. good. Let's, yes. Yes, yes. let's go. Let's go. Let's start. <coughs> go to your groups, please. The lecture group. Electric group, Susana, Madali, Jessica. de ayer, acá está lloviendo, entonces de repente se me queda mudo y tengo que yo desconectar mi audio para poderlos oír a ustedes, si no, no los oigo. Ah, 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 ahí está el detalle. Se acaba de... Porque le jala internet. Uh -huh. Exacto. Quizás. Bueno, vamos a... Bueno, hay que completar esta cosa. Tomaron la captura. Yo sí la tomé. Ahorita lo que hice fue dividir la pantalla del celular. Ajá. You can share also the screen. Puede compartir la pantalla suya Yo con ella. Yo ah, el screenshot. Ok. Ah, uh, compártala. Ahí le puede dar abajito. Share screen. No importa que esté dividido la, la pantalla. No. no, no. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Vamos a ver si se mira, si no, pues ya teléfono nuevo, no se preocupe. <risa> ¿Se mira? <risa> no. No se mira. Ya te dije no. que te voy a llevar. Sí. No, yo no veo. Un dos de la red me trajo un taquerito. No, no, no. No. 
Para ser ubicado. Vamos a ver. Now we can see it. Ahora sí. Ya se está viendo. Yes. Ok. Está viendo. Ok, ahora sí. Very good. Ahora sí. Ya puedo, ya puedo. Very good. Ok, Gregory. Vaya. Ok. ¿Do you have questions about this activity? Yes. ¿Tienen preguntas? ¿Cuáles son sus preguntas? Uh, no, no. Ah, no question. O no, o no sé, o no sé si, no sé si alguien quiere preguntar algo. Questions? Jennifer? Aquí vamos a completar. Van a seleccionar. Sí, lo vamos a completar. Sí, van ah, a seleccionar ah, con lo ah, que tienen en paréntesis. Iría. Ah, ya, ya, ya comprendí. Uh -huh. yes. Una bien. pregunta, una pregunta. De, yeah. No te de esto, pero... Hay, hay un grupo, hay grupo, porque yo no estoy en grupo, creo. Hay un grupo de WhatsApp. No aparezco en... Ah, no, creo que yo no estoy ahí. No está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ay, tal vez de revise. No, creo yo que... tampoco. No. ¿Me pueden mandar su número de teléfono ahorita en el chat, por favor? Escríbeme su nombre completo y lo voy a... ¿En este chat? Sí, en este chat, ahorita, ahorita mismo. A ver. Nombre completo. Y el número de teléfono. Pero sí están en la lista, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Ahí está. Ok. 76149162. Very good. And yours, Jessica? Escríbame su nombre completo. O su número de teléfono. Body. Ok. Ok. You can continue working, Madale. Con Fausto. Va. Somos cuatro ahora. Jessica. Seguimos. Empezamos, Fausto. Sí, empecemos. Que, Sería, ah, vamos, a... vamos por, bueno, ya lo primero ya estuvo. Donde dice David, hello Jennifer, how are you? Ajá. De ahí responde how Jennifer. Are you? Uh, dice, uh, I'm fine, thanks. Ah, sí, está ya la primera. Ajá. ¿no? Uh -huh. Y sigue con la conversación que con I'm sorry, what's your name again? again? Es, uh... No me equivoco. Uh, hello, Jennifer. Who are you? I'm fine. I'm sorry. What's your name again? Say, uh, it's a Davy. Davy Medina. Sam, Fran, David. 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 
this is Ahí sería como ahí sería como decir cuando tú decís tense or is is a sort of verb is a sort of verb she she is all math class I'm sorry. Y ahí contesto yo que soy David. Sería, hi Sara, it's nice to meet you. Ah, ahora mi turno. Hi David, I think you're in my English class too. All right, yes, I am. Bueno, tendríamos que cambiar. Cambiamos de nombres. ¿Cuál sería otro? Si quieres empezar entonces, tú, Edwin, eh, empezar tú, Edwin, con... Oh. Edwin, David. Me quedo yo con Jennifer y que Sarah. Susana se quede con Sara. Con Jennifer, con, con, con Susana. Ah, eh, hello, hello, Jennifer, how are you? I am fine, thanks. Mariela. Mm -hmm. Mariela Alvarado. Hi, Mariela Alvarado. Solamente le dice el nombre. Solo le dice un nombre. Ah, uh, hi, Mariela. Mm -hmm. eh, nice, nice to meet you. Eso lo contesta quién? Nice to meet you. Too. Yo. No, solo Ay. dice nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. No, nada más. Uh -huh. No el tú. Sí. No. <risa> Hi Walter. I think ahora yo. Hi Walter. I think you are in my English class too. Oh, ¿Cómo le dijo? Yes. En y luego contesta Walter. Sí. Oh, right, yes. Yes, right, I am. yes, I am. Mm, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Pero mire cómo contestó oh, right. en la penúltima usted. No, pero ahí como que dijera, cuando contesto yo no digo, oh, right. Yes, oh, I am. Right. Yes, yes, I, I am. am. Oh, okay. Vale, mm -hmm. Pero en la, en la penúltima, ¿cómo contestó usted que dijo? Ay. Yo dije, hi, David. I think you are in my English class too. Ahí me dijo, hola Walter, ¿verdad? Ajá, hola Walter, yo ajá. pienso... Que, ¿En mi clase de inglés? Que, ajá, yo pienso que en clase de inglés también. Yo pienso, ajá, ok. Y ahí yo le digo, oh, right, yes, I am. O oh, igual, o oh, igual, como una afirmación que digo, oh, right, que es... Es cierto. Oh, mm, cierto. Oh, oh, sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. Allá. Pero no traduzca no, todo, Walter. Porque es después que... se le va a quedar aquí y ya solo va a traducir y le va a costar más. <risa> no, es que me cuesta un poco, teacher. Ah, <risa> don't worry. A todos nos cuesta ahorita. Sí, Ahí sí, sí bastante, teacher. Don't worry. <risa> Pero no problem, no problem. Pero aún me queda duda porque en la, en, la, en la penúltima, ¿por qué lo contesto? O sea, completo. ¿En which one? ¿En the exercise? Ajá. Donde dice, hi, David. I think. Ah. I, ajá. All right. Yes, I am. I think I'm in my I English think. class too. Uh -huh. No es yo. Era solo... I'm in my English class. So, hi, David. I think you are in my English class, too. It's not am. Um. Uh -huh. Porque ella se está dirigiendo a David. Hi, David. I think you are in my English class, too. All right. Yes, I am. Okay. All oh, right. Hi, yes, I am. I am. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Hola. Do you have questions? Hola. No. 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 Okay, pues ustedes van a ser el equipo número uno. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bueno, yo no tengo preguntas, no sé si los demás tienen. Do you have questions? Eh, yo por lo menos en la pronunciación hay veces vaya, yo sé que how are you, cómo estás tú, va? pero en este caso como no se mira, <risa> como, como se mira algo, algo separado, va, no lo podía leer, yo decía hello, Carla, les, hasta después lo voy a comprender how are you, está, how bien, are separado, you? está bien separado, así se escribe, yeah. wow, how okay. are you, sí. yeah. How are you? No, remember, no. remember that this, eh, el espacio que le está separado es porque le tienen que dar espacio. Porque se supone que tiene un cuaderno, o sea, no sabe quién tiene letra chiquita y quién tiene letra grande. He visto letras así a veces de los estudiantes, por eso es que está el espacio grande. How are you? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Very good. More Lo questions? Que era de completar. Oh, Ajá, era de completar, exactly. ¿Usted, Carla? ¿Carla Marielos? ¿Questions? No, solamente, solamente en eso tenía duda, Ticho. Ah, ok, ok. Perfect. So, let's go. Vamos ya. Ya son las nueve y media. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ok, ok. No, Dios mío, necesitaba más tiempo. <risa> no, it, was a, it was a lot of time. Okay. Of time. Let's see, okay, don't worry. We're going to start with, with Walter, Mariela, and Carla Marielos. They are going to start with the conversation. I am going to put the conversation on the computer right now. And, oops, let me see. Can you see it? Can you see the conversation? ¿Pueden ver la conversación? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Very, very nice. Now, tell me the answer. What was the answer that you guys gave me? ¿Cuál es? Primero respondamos aquí para, antes de practicar. It says, Jennifer, what is the answer for this, Rosalena? Eh, I am. I am. I am. I am. No, I am. Perdón. Am. Am. I'm fine. I'm um, fine. Thanks. Okay. Very good. What about the next? Um, oh. eh, Eric. Hola. What eh, about this? Sería, I am. I am. am. Or am. 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 Please. Am. I'm sorry. What's your name again? Okay, very good. Oh, please. Um, what um, is the um, next one here, Peter? It's it's it it no he. Okay, what's your name again? It's David. Remember it's yesterday. What's your last David. name again? It's Ramos, right? David. Very good. It's David. Very good. It says, that's, that's right. right. David. That's right. David. Uh, what is the answer here, Carla? Yeah. Yeah. Is, this is, um, this is Sarah Connor. This is Sarah Connor. This is Sarah Connor. Okay, very good. This is singular. This is singular. And it's very similar to it. It. Okay. This is Sarah Connor. Okay. What do we have here, Wendy Arita? Uh, he. Mm -hmm. He. He. Yeah. He's in our math class. Mm, are you sure? Oh. Because we're talking about Sarah Connor. 
Is Sarah he or she? Yes. She. Remember that she is for girls. She is for girls. It's women. Okay. For example, Sara, Wendy, Carla, Marielos. You can use she. Porque son mujeres. Very good. And it says here, hi, Sarah. Uh, what is the answer here? Abel. Abel? It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Very good. Hi, David. I think Marielos. Carla Marielos. You are in my English class too. You're in my English classroom. Okay, you're. Your. Your. Remember that it's contracted. Oops. Your in my English my class. My Very English. good. Very good. And in my English class too. And the last one here. Please tell me, Edwin. Yes, ma'am. Oh, right. Yes, ma'am. Edwin? All right. What then? What's the answer? All right. Yes, I am. All right. Yes, I am. Okay. Very good. Now, these are the answers. Do you have these answers or do you have something different? Tienen esto o algo diferente? Diferente. Así lo tengo. Así está. Así está, lo único okay. que eh, yo tengo, tengo una consulta. Eh, cuando David le contesta a Hi Sara, porque no solamente va el nice to meet you, porque tiene que ir el, el X. It is nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. El I, it is, it is, esa es la forma completa que lo podemos hacer. Ahora sí. bien. Es que se escucha, Ajá. hola Sara, eh, o sea, tendría que decir hola Sara, mucho gusto. Entonces, ¿dónde va el X ahí? O ah, sea, porque usted, para... lo está, usted lo está traduciendo. Cosa, gusto. No, es que usted lo está traduciendo. Por eso es que no lo entiendo. Por eso no lo traduzco. ¿Por qué? Porque en inglés podemos decir de dos formas. Podemos decir, nice to meet you, o it's nice to meet you. Cuando en decimos, ambas aplica. En ambas, en ambas aplica. aplica la misma. O sea, sí. podría ser, eh, it's nice to meet you, o solo nice to meet you. Or nice to meet you. Es lo o mismo. sea que ah, el, el X no es solo pero... para cosas y animales, entonces. ¿Cómo no? Porque esta es una cosa, es una situación. Entonces, creo pues, que... it is ah, nice to meet you. Uh -huh. Creo que si lo quieren ver así como traducir. Pero no vamos a traducir. Su... No, o sea, yo entiendo cosas, pero ah, no, o sea, no, cosa no, objeto. Ah, no, no. Ah, cosas, por pero... ejemplo, un baby no es un objeto. Por ejemplo, cuando, te, cuando ah. tienen un bebé, right, they have a baby. It says, oh, what is that? It's a baby. No, Entonces, puede, tenemos... no puede decir, she is a baby or he is a baby. No, no se dice así. Decimos, ¿Por qué is a baby? baby? ¿Por qué is a baby? Así se dice en inglés. ¿Cómo se dice esto? It's a baby. It's a baby. Oh, it's a baby, yes. It's a girl. Mm -hmm. ¿Se, han fijado, mm -hmm. ¿Se han fijado en los banners, en los banners que venden en el Dollar City? Cuando vayan, vayan a los banners de... de Van al Dollar City, no me digan que no. Cuando van al Dollar City y ven los banners que están eh, para los baby showers, dice, it's a boy, it's a girl. It's ¿Eh? a boy. Niña. Uh -huh. Exactly. Usualmente se utiliza it o it is para cosas y animales, pero se utiliza en este caso, es, mm. se considera una cosa, pero en realidad es como una situación. Un bebé no es una cosa, es un bebé. Y se utiliza uh -huh. it también. Right? Pero si lo queremos o sea, traducir que, así literal, no le van a encontrar ¿cómo? sentido. Por eso no tratamos de traducir. O sea que puede decir, es situación, cosa y animal. Las tres, oh, las tres formas. Situación, emoción, cosa, animal. Emoción, ubicación. Mm, ubicaciones, sometimes. Right? Different things, exactly. Different okay. things. Pero son okay. cosas, sobre todo. Cosas, example, situaciones. Example de ubicación. Uh, the party, it's here. It's here. It is here. ¿La fiesta es aquí? No lo traduzca. Uh, 
Ah. Sí, gracias, thank you. Que ahí es donde pensamos en traducirlo. Cabal. No, it's ok. Los primeros días han sido ser. Después se les va a ir olvidando. Después se les va a ir olvidando. Se, se les va a ir olvidando todo. A mí ya me regañó ya. A mí, a mí. Bueno, continuamos. Ok, lo regañé. Ok, es por nuestro bien, es por nuestro bien. Ok, now you say, for example, oh, it's ok, it's ok, está bien, it is ok. Eh, esa es otra forma de decir. Cuando ustedes dicen a veces, ok, es, dicen lo mismo que decir, está bien, it's ok. Entonces, siempre. It's ok. Ya han oído hablar, okay. ya han oído hablar del sujeto tácito. No sé si se recuerdan en, en la escuela. Uh, ok, un sujeto tácito, se lo voy a decir en español, un sujeto tácito prácticamente está en la oración solo por estar. ¿verdad? Muchas veces es solo por estar. Entonces tenemos eh, it is or it, lo que tenemos acá, que me está preguntando Briseida, lo tenemos acá como un sujeto tácito. En este en esta ejemplo concreto. It's nice to meet you. ¿Por qué? Porque si ella lo quisiera traducir, traducir como ella quiso, no le da sentido a la oración. ¿Verdad? Entonces, un sujeto tácito está como de bulto. No sirve prácticamente solo para el orden gramatical del idioma. ¿Ok? Entonces decimos, ¿cuál es el sujeto ahí? It. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Is. ¿Y cuál es el complement? Nice to meet you. ¿Right? Está bien. Pero en inglés siempre no vamos a tener solo una forma de decir las cosas. Y eso desde el día 2 vamos a, vamos a ponernos mentalmente así como, uh, tenemos diferentes formas de decir lo mismo. ¿Ok? Y, a veces, y el significado no va a cambiar, muchas veces no va a cambiar para nada. A veces solo va a cambiar por el contexto. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo digo, how are you? Estoy saludando, lo quiero saber cómo se encuentra, cómo está, cómo le va. How are you? O alguien dice, hey, what's up? Right. Ah, pero eso es totalmente distinto, pero tiene el mismo significado lingüístico. Entonces, eso es lo que estamos haciendo acá. Very good. It's nice to meet you. La respuesta está perfecta, el orden gramatical está perfecto, pero el it, si ustedes lo quieren traducir, no, no le va, no van a hallar. Esto es muy bueno de conocerte. Algo así. Sí, sí. Algo así. Right? Algo así. Ok. Very good. ¿Mm? Una locura total. Aclaramos la duda. Very good. Now, we have the answers for that. Eh, Qué buena se puso la clase. Okay. Now, we are going to share right now. We're going to do another exercise. But because of the time, I will ask you directly, okay? Voy a preguntarles a todos así como directamente. Lo vamos a hacer individual el ejercicio. Lo vamos a hacer ahorita. Okay. Okay. Can you look at the computer right now? Mm. Yes, it says, complete the following sentences using the correct form of B and the occupations on parentheses. Now. We have the first one, it says Alan, and it says here, truck driver. So what we're going to do is that we are going to make a positive statement, right? What do you think is going to be the answer for these? Uh, let me see, Mariela de Los Angeles, Alan. Alan, it's a truck driver. Alan, very good, Alan. Is, is a truck driver. truck driver. Now, how do you know it's positive? Because it, it only has the occupation. Some of them, they have the not here. So they are going to be negative sentences, of course, right? Now, you are going to do the same with the other sentences, okay? Vamos a hacer individual. Let's copy the sentences on your book, on your notebook, on your computer, en lo que tengan a la mano. Vamos a completarlo individualmente. Vamos a tener, please take a screenshot of here. Take a screenshot. Uh, 
Are you done? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. Ok, vamos a trabajar. Tenemos cuatro minutos para completarlas y le voy, le voy a preguntar luego. I'm going to ask you the, the answers. Let's do it. Mitchell. Mitchell. is for. We have three minutes. Two minutes. One minute. Did you finish? Almost? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. Yes. Wendy, Eliane, yes? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Briseida, Carla? <coughs> yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, wonderful. Now, let's see the answers for this. And I'm going to ask you, oh no, it's not that one. We have the first one that Marielos gave us this one. Alan is a truck driver. What would be the answer for number two, Eric Macario? Okay. I am the, este, uh -huh. I am a assembler. I am an Assembler. Um, assembler. Uh, assembler. Very good. I am an assembler. assembler. Okay, very good. What about number three? Uh, let's see here. Uh, Michael is on for Maya. What Maya. do you have, Abel? Michelle? Abel, what's the answer? Michelle. My, Michael, Michelle is on for manager. Michelle is a floor manager. Oh, yeah. Very good. Oops, let me put here the periods. Los puntos son bien importantes. Recuérdense eso. Eso se revisa en las tareas. Michelle okay. is a floor manager. Now, let's okay. see here. Madali, number four. My boss. 
Permítame. My boss, my boss is a not. My boy is a not main. No puedo Mainz. pronunciar eso. Main names. Main names. Main names. Main names. Okay, very good. Is this correct? Okay. Everyone, just pay attention. Don't say anything. Madali, is this correct? Solo que decir, vamos a pensar un ratito todos. No. No? Okay, Marila says no. What is, look, remember, eh, Madali, the, the formula. Listen to the formula, Madali. Subject, okay. verb, plus not, plus complement. ¿Qué está de más? What is not good? Que tenemos que quitar. We need to delete. Madali. Permítame. La permito. Uh, is. Is. Uh, no. Uh, 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 ah, very uh, good. Very good. This is not there. My boss uh, is not maintenance. My boss is not main. Eso es todo. Very good. Mm -hmm. Se puede decir my, my boss is no o my boss and no. No, is. No. Because, is. Yes, because here, what is the subject pronoun for my boss? What is the subject pronoun for my boss? What are, what, ¿Cuáles son los subject pronouns que dijimos al inicio? ¿Ustedes me lo dijeron? He. I he, am, he, I am, he, 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 entonces, en este caso, a ver, no podemos decir my boss I am, right? no. porque my boss es prácticamente he. Entonces, mm. yo puedo escribir aquí otra oración y puedo decir he is not maintenance. Y significa lo mismo. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. That's a good question, very good. Now, let's see here number... Five. Let's see, Wendy Arita. Um, he is not floor manager. He is floor. not floor manager. He is not, oops, sorry. He is not, oh, qué locura. He is not a floor manager. Okay. He is not a maintenance, sorry. And he's not a maintenance. Let me put this bigger. Okay. Now, the last one, Susana. Tina. Tina is an engineer. Is an engineer. Okay, very good. Tina is an engineer. Very good. What is the, what is, what's, what can I change if I want to change he? What else can I put there? If I want to change he, I don't like he, so. ¿Qué le puedo poner en vez de he? Un nombre propio, okay. Por ejemplo, for example. Carlos. Carlos. René. Okay. Carlos is not a floor manager. René is not a floor manager. Okay, very good. Very good. And what about Tina? I want to change Tina. She, right? She, she is an engineer. She, she, she is. She is. She is an engineer. An engineer. Very good. She is an engineer. Very nice. Very nice. Now, tenemos cinco minutos. Now, what if I want to ask these questions? Esto, con esto nos vamos... Nos vamos a ir ya como practicando. En la, en la número uno, les voy a poner las preguntas. Okay. What is the question that you ask when you want to ask your name? What is the question? 
¿Cuál es la pregunta? What is the question if you want to ask the name? What's your name? What's your What's name? name? What's your name? Very good. What's your name? Or you can say also, what's your full name? When you say full name, includes name and last name. No traducir. Okay, what's your full name? Right? We have name and last name. Okay, very good. Now we want to say the occupations. What are some examples of occupations? ¿Cuáles son ejemplos de ocupaciones que ustedes conocen? Engineer, engineer, architect, architect, secretary, maintenance, very good, teacher, dentist, doctor, dancer, right, those are occupations. Listen to this question when you, when you want to know the occupation. It's very easy. What? What, what do, do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? That's one way. Esa es una forma de preguntar. Hoy usted puede preguntar, what's your occupation? What do you do? What your occupation? Significa lo mismo, sí. Significa lo mismo. What's your occupation? What do you do? What's, what's your occupation? Usted puede ocupar una o ocupar la otra, como usted quiera. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. Now, this one is only if you want to ask a negative thing. For example, are um, you a doctor? No. Rene, uh, are you a doctor? Are you no? Are you a doctor? No, 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 a doctor. Uh, no. Are you a uh, doctor? Okay, uh, en no. esa parte, lo que queremos uh, obtener, you... oye, okay, escucha. Lo que queremos obtener es una respuesta negativa. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. si yo le pregunto a René Alonso. René, are you a Alfonso. doctor? Alfonso, perdón. No. <laughs> are you a doctor? No. What is the I complete am answer? Uh, I am not a doctor. I am not a doctor. I am not a doctor. Very good. Very good. Entonces vamos a hacerlo. Mire, este, vamos a cambiarle en sapor el chunche aquí. Vamos a cambiar así, miren. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, aquí ustedes pueden preguntar, are you a doctor? No, I'm not. Uh, what do you do? Because quieren saber. Right? What do you do? What's your occupation? Oh, I'm um, a teacher. I'm a flight attendant. I am a dancer. I am a singer. I am an artist. Right? So you start saying your occupations. What is another possible answer here? Quere, como queremos una, pre, una respuesta negativa. Okay. ¿Cuál sería otra pregunta que podemos hacer con una ocupación? Are you? Are you a student? Are you a student? Okay, very good. Are you a student? No, I'm not. I am a teacher. No. Okay, what's another one? Are you a dancer? Are you a singer? Are you a singer? Very good. Allá, lo digo, lo leo. Are you a singer? Are you a singer? Are, are you a are children? Oh, but that is different. Very good. That is the verb, the bear in simple present. So say, do you have children? Esa es otra cosa, mire. Pero ahí no estamos el do. preguntando el do y el das. No se me adelante, no sé. Ahí estamos queriendo saber un poco más de información. Que es, la pregunta está bien. Do you have children? No, I don't. Pero ese es otro, 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 otro tema. Ok, very good. Creo que, lo, creo que lo que estaba preguntando es que si es un niño. Oh, are uh -huh. you a child? Uh -huh. Maybe. In my heart. Are you a child? In my soul, in mi interior. Okay. No, realmente you... fue lo primero. Ah, fue lo primero. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you have children? Okay. Pero las dos no funcionan. Mire. Okay, very good. So, this is what we're going to do. Now, what we're going to do is the following. You are going to complete this for tomorrow, for tomorrow's class. Okay. Eso es lo primero que vamos a hacer. Okay? 
Okay. Eso es lo que primero que vamos a hacer antes de irse, porque vamos a, mañana se lo voy a mostrar de todos modos. Antes de irse voy a pasar la asistencia una vez más, porque pues sí, ¿verdad? Antes, todavía tengo un minuto, Susana Guadalupe Costa de Cruz. Presente. Wendy Joana Ruiz González. Presente. René Alonso. Presente. Jennifer wow. Madali. Presente. Eric Macario. Presente. Briseida Mabel. Presente. Paus Antonio. Presente. Carla Marielos. Presente. Wendy Yesenia. Presente. Edwin Antonio. Edwin. Rosa Elena. Presente. Jessica Joana. Alexander de Jesús. Pedro Ernesto. Mariela de Los Ángeles. Presente. Ok. Presente. Mariela de Los Ángeles. Carla Adiacer. Presente. 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 Abel Edgardo. Presente. Eliane Presente. Alejandra. Presente. Walter Mauricio. Presente. Ok. Very good. So I will let you go, guys, porque son las 10 y 2, ya nos atrasamos dos minutos con las otras sesiones. Vean el horario ahí para que se unan a las otras sesiones. Nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.